Here's to strong women. May we know them. May we be them. May we be inspired. March 8th is International Women's Day, a day celebrated worldwide since the early 1900s to recognize achievements made by women and to spread awareness of gender inequality that still exists today and to suggest actions to help create a level playing field for all genders alike. I'm Gurinder Singh, a former board member of the South Asian Bar Association of New York, Sabani, and I've teamed up with Sabani VP of Public Relations Vidya Bapachan for a mini video podcast series to highlight and celebrate achievements of several South Asian women lawyers during the month of March. Right now is an extraordinary time to be a strong, confident woman of South Asian descent. We bring to you a special series of interviews, interviews of exemplary women interviewed by equally intriguing members of the executive board at Sabani. We hope to keep the conversations fresh, relevant, and hope that you are as inspired as we have been throughout this process. Today, we highlight Hemily Patel, who has been tapped as General Counsel of New York City's Board of Elections. She takes on an incredibly important role with immense responsibility in what's been characterized by many as a broken political landscape with accusations of corruption and incompetence. She talks to us about her personal journey, how she's navigated challenges and defines success, all the while maintaining a sense of personal balance through it all. Hemily was virtually interviewed by Sabani VP Vidya Papajan. Vidya has dedicated her legal career to public interest for a decade as a public defender and now as a court attorney where she works closely with her judge who presides over cases in New York City criminal court. Vidya chairs a subcommittee on racial inequality in the New York State Courts for the City Bar, and last year she launched Sabani's inaugural mentorship program. And here are some highlights from that interview. You're about to take on the position as very soon, I believe next week, as general counsel of the New York City Board of Elections. And it's a challenging role that comes with an immense sort of responsibility. How are you feeling right now? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm very excited. It is not something I would have ever imagined, you know, as an immigrant woman, I wasn't even born here. I came here when I was in first grade. To have this opportunity to serve at a citywide level in a position that obviously holds a lot of importance, especially in a year like this year where we have so many elections. I see myself as a public servant and I hope that in this role, I am serving the public in the way that they need to be served, which is access to ballots and access to voting. You've done a bunch of different things throughout your career. You've worn a lot of hats. And I imagine that comes with a certain level of being willing to take risks, pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. And that doesn't necessarily often come easily. It doesn't come easily, really, to whether you're a woman of color or whether you're a woman in general. How have you sort of navigated that? I guess it's having the courage of your convictions. I always feel that if I keep in mind that I'm trying to make positive change, it's easier to make it not about me and to make it about the work. For you, has your idea, your vision of what success means evolved oh, throughout your career? Sure, I mean, sure. When you come here as an immigrant, you know, you have this idea, uh, obviously my parents did, to give us an opportunity to have something that we wouldn't have had in India, at least back then, you know, success was measured in, in, in financial success. No matter what you do, there's always somebody um, doing better than you are, right? And so that's something you have to, I mean, I learned a long time ago not to internalize. Are there strategies where you've learned to ground yourself and manage expectations? You know, there's so much more to you than just being an attorney and you know, you have children, how do you manage those? How do you yeah. find um, that balance and manage everything? I think 
I don't know that there's an answer to the manage everything. I don't, you know, I mean, I think we all struggle with it every day. I've always um, tried to take, even with kids, um, time for something that I enjoy. I like to learn how to make things. I learned how to make stained glass. I do pottery. I learned how to knit. You know, I always have something that I like to do with my hands and I feel that's the thing that keeps me grounded. Let's say if you were looking back on yourself, your younger self, um, what advice would you give yourself? If there was one piece of advice you could give yourself? I, I think that I felt lost a lot in the beginning. There wasn't a lot of, you know, there was no Sabani. And there were many instances where I just felt I didn't have, um, you know, any mentors or anyone to catch me if I fell. If I had something to say to my younger self, I would say, just hang in there. You know, it isn't always easy. It isn't, it won't always be easy, no matter who you are or how smart you are. It's important to know that everybody has that same struggle, no matter where you are, you know? And as a younger person, you will definitely have it because that's how life is. Um, but, you know, it gets better um, and it gets easier and you become more confident and you learn, you know, and everybody will find their place. I think the other half of it, and maybe you don't even realize that being so successful is that reputation also yes. matters, yes. right? Yes. Reputation is everything. And you really can spend your entire life building your reputation and ruin it in an instant, you know, or it can carry you on to great things. You know, if you have that reputation as a person who's decent, um, that really does go a long way. And I think that's great advice to give, um, whether you're a woman, whether you're a South Asian woman, I think it translates across the board. I can't think of a better way to end this conversation, even though I would like to talk to you for all day. Yeah, <laughs> thank it's, you. It's, it's a wonder and I really appreciate your time. So thank you very much.